Okay, Zoom, let's see everyone and everything. We'll go through the different ways to see the content while we're running a Zoom meeting. So if we minimize this, I've got a session going on right now. And currently I'm in what's called the gallery view. Uh, I've got my students here. I got Pikachu, Lego Pikachu and Lego Steve from Minecraft who joined us today. And we are in what's called the gallery view where we can see everybody, uh, kind of the Brady Bunch style here. On the top right, we can change this over to speaker view where I just see the main person that's talking. Uh, when you are running the session and you're doing all the talking, you won't fill up that main screen and be the others. Uh, and you'll see the other uh, participants up at the top here. I want to switch back over to gallery view to see everybody. There you go. And then we have this other button over here, which has the enter full screen mode. And when you go full screen, it's going to take up the entire screen that you're looking at and then um, create floating toolbars for some of the other pieces uh, that we go into. I'm going to exit full screen and stay in this view, which is basically window view. And as I start opening up some of my views here on my windows, they will pop over in the panel on the side. So if I want to see who are my participants, clicking that option will open up that panel. And now that I have that list here on the top, you've got the option up here on this dropdown to close this or pop this out into its own floating window. And then if I can click on merge it back to the meeting window if I want. Or I can close it. Okay, we can go over to chat, same thing, brings up the chat meeting side panel, and then you have your controls over here, same way. So those are your main ones for seeing the different content. If I was to go back into full screen mode and we click on those different items, they will show up as floating windows. So they'll be on top of the content that you're reviewing. And I don't have that option of really changing or snapping it back. You can minimize and you can maximize or you can close them out. And then you can move window left side of screen right uh, based on my Mac. So I can slide it over there, basically snaps into place and then maximize. So you have those options, go back to exit full screen, and then you can gather your information and side panels. You can also have multiple ones open. So I've got both the chat and participate buttons up here and then the same options. I can pop it out, minimize it or close it. If you double click or click on the word itself, it'll open it up or close it as well. So if you click on the chat, it tucks it away, participants tucks it away, and we can open it back up. Um, while we're back in the gallery view, there are some options at the top of each of these thumbnails where if you go into the more, we've got a couple of different options here with um, in terms of seeing the, the videos. We can pin somebody's video. So if I wanted to pin Steve up here, pin the video for yourself so that you're always seeing this person or this student filling up the screen while you're in your meeting and you can unpin. You can also choose to spotlight this person. And what that does is it's spotlighting or pinning this person for everybody in your meeting. And then there's an option to cancel the spotlight here or cancel the spotlight back here as well. You can also select your image and hide your self view so you're not seeing your picture take up this space, especially if you want to limit the amount of screens that you're going to see. Now that I don't see my video anymore, and to get yourself back, you would click up here on the show self view and that put you back in there. And there you go. That is sharing and viewing all the content and people on the screen.